fitness freaks. Today we're going to do a workout with a yoga block for the abs, right? For the abs. And yeah, this is what we're going to do. 10 minutes only, so it's going to be over pretty quickly. Still very effective. Uh, for the first two exercises of the 10 exercises, each one one minute. We don't need the yoga blocks, you can have it here at, uh, at your side, ready to grab it when we need it. And yeah, let's get let's get started right we start here in a forward fold you can bend your legs if you want to and we start now walking out into a plank right creating a straight line from heels to shoulders and we walk back and we walk back out so important here um you can bend your knees whenever you have to right in case that you're not flexible enough to do this with the straight legs but if you're doing that with straight legs, it's a really great exercise to also um, stretch your legs a little bit, right? So this is why I really like this one. And up. And it's a great exercise to warm up. We're using our abs, we're using our shoulders. It's a great, great exercise for so, 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 so many things. I don't know, today I have some trouble with pronunciations. So almost done with our first minute. Right, we have six seconds, four, five, four, three, two, one. And down into a tabletop position, back is straight. And then we push up into a down dog, aligning the arms with the back. Right, try to straighten the legs, maybe heels to the mat, maybe not, doesn't really matter. The important thing here is to align the arms with the back. And when you're in the tabletop position, you also wanna have a straight back. Your hands or your wrists are more or less underneath your shoulders and your knees more or less underneath your wrists, right? <sighs> Everything is engaged here as you press up, down and up. Nice way to work the abs, to stretch a little bit and just to feel good. Like these moves into downward dog from whatever position, uh, usually I love them. I love them, they're so great to warm up, to cool down. <sighs> eight seconds and then we grab the yoga block four three two one so grab the yoga block first off we start with one leg yoga block on the leg on the foot i mean up there this leg goes up and down here and we just keep the other leg straight if you have to bend that leg this is fine or you could also rest it all the way down and then all the way up again and you could have your head on the mat here or if you want to train the upper abs a little bit, you lift those shoulder blades off the mat, arms here by your side, right? You're not holding onto your head. You're just having the arms out here as a little support. Or actually not as a support, actually as some extra weight. If this is too much, you could put the arms, you could have them in front here, then it wouldn't be that hard, right? And we're almost done with that minute, 15 seconds, but we keep that yoga block on that foot, right? We keep it on that foot don't drop it we have one more minute with the yoga block up on that foot before we do the other side the other side three two one okay now if you can float that leg if not put it down and then bend and extend that leg with the yoga block slightly Woo, this requires some ability to flex your foot some control here Woo. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. In and out, let's go. Up and down, I mean. Concentrate, focus on that yoga block. Don't let it fall. But if you drop it, don't worry. Just put it up there again and keep working, right? 23 seconds to go. And then we do the other side. Woo! And press up down up 10 seconds let's go you can do it it's just 10 minutes no excuses here dip okay other side other side put that yoga block on that foot other foot and then up and down here Woo, with the other leg again if it's getting too hard you could rest your torso or you could rest like your head on the mat totally totally fine but if you want 
some extra work here for the upper abs keep your head up but like don't don't like pull it down too much don't hurt your neck 22 seconds and I was thinking oh this is easy but well remember we still have that other move to do there Woo! yoga block abs are a great thing anything with props is great like to take your mind off the exercise three two one now float the leg if you want to or not and up and down ah! with the yoga block and as you see on that side I fucked it up okay Woo! oh damn I have to go slower here. Ah, it's so wobbly. It's so darn wobbly. Let me know in the comment section after you did the workout if you dropped the yoga block, just like I just did. And if you did, and what exercise? <sighs> Probably one of these two here. Oh, damn. Ooh, so wobbly. <sighs> I don't know, I think it's even make it, it makes it harder that it's so light. Wait. 14 seconds focus focus ivy you can do it ah up and down so close okay and yeah, we're done with that so now let yoga block in between your feet and then to your hands hands back to the feet and down right try do not lift your lower back off the mat here as you do that. If you lift it off the mat, don't go that low. And again, you don't have to keep your head up all the time. You could put your head down here in that moment, for example, and then just go up once you grab the yoga block. <sighs> oh yeah, do you feel a burn in your abs? I do feel a slight burn in my upper abs, actually. <sighs> Woo! Let's go. Damn. <sighs> Only a few seconds left and then the next exercise. <sighs> okay. Okay, straight here. Gonna do roll-ups, yoga block in between your hands here, right? And then up, up, up and slow roll-ups. Upper arms next to the ears here and then we go down again. <sighs> And try to keep like your, your arms ah, vertical to the floor when you go up. This is gonna make it harder, way harder than if you like move it to the front there, right? Because that is gonna give you some extra weight to get up. But up here, you will have to fight more with your abs. Ah, two more exercises after this one. One on the left, one on the right, and then we're done, right? So don't give up now. You're so close to the end here seven six five four three two one yoga block behind the the leg here right arms to the side and then i want you to pull, pull the leg with the yoga block in and cross slightly here down tap down and cross so we're working the obliques here. This exercise, like Posse Solo, this exercise, doing it alone without doing the other ones before, feels really easy. But after what we just did, I do feel that, right? This is the thing with like doing those exercises non-stop, you'll feel a burn. And if not, instead of a yoga block, you could use a dumbbell. Well, maybe not for the exercise where we're like balancing the yoga block on our foot because I don't want you to like get hit in the head with a dumbbell. But you could do that with ankle weights then, right? With some ankle weights, additional ankle weights to make it harder. And five, four, three, two, one. Other side, last minute. Bap, damn. Bap, down, bap. This is a really nice up, ex, up, up training, like to add on to some other training, right? Or to do on your rest day, because I feel it's not too hard. Like I'm like more of the type of girl I like doing power tower abs, 
But these exercises, I, look, I, I love doing them sometimes. They're like refreshing, something I don't always do. And yeah, just really nice. 25 seconds in. A few more. Don't forget to breathe. You need the oxygen, right? 10 seconds. And then we're done with this up workout. Yay. Five, four, three, two, one. We made it. Woohoo! Get rid of that yoga block. You don't, you don't need it no more. And then let's come into a tabletop position here again and let's do some cat cow. So when we do the cow, we inhale, we arch your back and look up. And when we exhale, we make a round back, which would be the cat, which would be the cat, right? Shift through that, those poses at your pace. Feels good, huh? Feels good. So accomplished here. But, oh yeah. Child's pose for a moment. And then to the front. Into a modified cobra pose. Let your, let your hips hang here. Shoulders away from ears. Look up. Feel how your abdominal wall is getting a good stretch here as well as your back. And then that's it. We are done. I hope you did like it. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll be seeing you on the next one.